Brr, it's cold out there, boys and girls, but we're glad to have you here at White Pine District Library Storytime. And we're going to have a little winter fun today. First, let's have you stand right up and let's see if you can figure out what we're doing today. If I go like this, do you know who I'm supposed to be today? I'm a penguin, and penguins love the wintry snow. So let's learn a little bit about them. Let's read a story about them, and then let's find out what you have in your busy bag this time that you can do with penguins. So let's do uh, the first little thing that we can do while we're standing up is a little song. Are you ready? So stand like a penguin. Got your feet kind of ready to waddle, and it goes like this. It's to the tune of, I'm a little peepot. It goes, I'm a little penguin in the snow. I like to slide on my tummy to and fro. I eat fish from the deep blue sea. I'm black and white, just look at me. Now you sing it with me. Get your penguin hands. I'm a little penguin in the snow. I slide on my tummy to and fro. I eat the fish from the deep blue sea. I'm black and white, just look at me. Now, I'm not black and white. I'm black, white, and red today. But I do have a little friend with me today. My little friend is black and white. And this is my little penguin friend. And my penguin friend, hi, Penny the Penguin. Hi. My Penny the Penguin is something that you can make when you get done with your busy bag. And you will have all the things to make your own penguin. So here's the sheet that goes with it. You can color it and you can make your own penguin. You can make your own penguin? Yeah. That's right, Penny, they can. Now, Penny, we want to tell them a little bit about penguins today. Now, you're really a bird, aren't you? Yeah, of course, look at my feathers. Oh, yep, you have wings, you have feathers. But I heard something about you. Mm, it's true. You can't fly, can you? Nope, you can't fly, but you can do something cool that a lot of other birds can't do. Yeah, I can swim. That's right, Penny, you can swim. And so let's take a look at some penguins, and then I'll read you a story about penguins. Okay, Penny? Yep, sounds good to me. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is some pictures of penguins. And here at the White Pine Library, we have lots of books that are about animals, and you could get those out and look at some real pictures of real penguins. Now, not all penguins are just black and white. Look at the penguin right there. Isn't he something? He's got quite a colorful head. But I did want to show you a couple things, and you'll be able to uh, make this when you make your puppet. So you have on your penguin, they're usually black, white, or gray. It has a bill or a beak like most birds have. And instead of actual wings, they have flippers. Now there are feathers on this bird, but they don't help him to fly. And then they have a short tail and short legs, which is why they kind of waddle like that. And their toes are called webbed toes, webbed feet. And that means that they're really good for swimming because they have a flap of skin in between and they can really pull that water through. So that's really cool. And we have lots of books about those. So today what I'd like to do is read to you a story called Little Penguin's Tale. And it's about a little penguin got into some trouble. So let's see what happens to him. And I want to thank Parkour Brace for allowing us to read this out loud to you. Little Penguin Scale. Audrey Wood. Shh, little penguins, don't make a peep, and Grandmanny Penguin will tell you a tale of long, long ago. On the story. Now, if you look, all the little penguins are listening, except for one. Once upon a time, there lived a little penguin just like you, just like you, except for this little penguin didn't listen to Grand Nanny's rules. And one morning at the break of dawn, he snuck off by himself to find some fun in the snowy polar world. Should you go off by yourself? Probably not. Up 
Woman Hill and Bounding Mother, he soon left all his friends behind. Yippee! said the little penguin. I'm sliding on my tummy far, far away from home. Can you see Grand Nanny way over there with the other penguin? Now, everyone knows a little penguin can get lost if they go far, far away from home. Everybody knows that. But he didn't know that. Right away, Little Penguin came upon a band of dancing goody birds. They were beating on tin cans and blowing tunes through their empty glass bottles. Having a good old time, aren't they? Goody birds. Little Penguin had never heard such music. It tickled his beak and made him laugh. And his feet began to move. Look at me, said the Little Penguin. I'm dancing with the goody birds. Now, everyone knows that a little penguin can get into big trouble if they go dancing with goonie birds. But he didn't know. Soon they all danced into a rickety boat and sailed off to the walrus polar club. Tell a good old cats, a walrus called. You come in and have some fun, won't you? Hey ho, the goonie birds cheered. We will. Me too, said the little penguin, and they all followed him inside. Little penguin had never seen such a place. It was a madcap club where animals gathered from all over the world to do whatever they pleased. Before long, he jumped in the middle and joined the fun. Look at me, little penguin cried. I'm the wildest of them all. Now, everyone knows that a little penguin can get hurt when he's the wildest of them all. Do you see anything that might hurt a penguin? I do. He didn't know. On and on they danced and played until even the wildest grew tired and weary. Little penguin could hardly keep his eyes open, so he wandered outside and lay down to take a nap. Look at me, little penguin, you're. <gasps> I'm falling asleep by the deep dark sea. Now everyone knows a little penguin can get eaten by a whale if he falls asleep by the deep dark sea. And that's just what happened. A great whale opened its mouth and grabbed him up in one bite. <sighs> Poor little penguin. That was the end of him. That's a terrible story. I'm sorry, Penny. <laughs> oh dear, Penny is upset. Oh dear, oh my goodness. Don't cry, little penguins. It's just a tale of long ago. And, and I suppose it could have ended differently. Oh, where was I? Uh, yes, little penguin fell asleep by the deep dark sea. Then a great big whale opened its mouth and tried to gobble him up. But little penguin was too clever. Quick as a wink, he jumped up out of the whale's mouth and into the rickety boat. Whew! And he sailed all the way back home to his grand nanny and friends. But not, mind you, before that great whale managed to nip off a few of his best tail feathers. I hope he learned his lesson. Oh my! I hope he learned his lesson. And that is the end of Little Penguin's Tale. Well, I hope you like that book, boys and girls, and I hope you'll enjoy some of the things that you can do with your busy bag. Let me show you a couple other things that are in your busy bag today. First of all, there's always a little something, like a little treat, and there will be a book for you to read with your family. This one's called Baby Dolphin. They're not all the same, but that one's for you. And then you get to make your own book with a little cutting and a little stapling maybe, or, or maybe mom and dad will want to tape it or glue it. This one's called the mitten book you can make. There's lots of activity sheets for you to do. Of course, the alphabet for you to practice so you can practice writing. 
some shapes to do, all different kinds of things. You should still have your chalk from when we did um, art before. You can do a wintry scene with your white chalk. That would be pretty cool. And then uh, we have something cool in your bag. Oh, I'll give you the, show you these first. This is going to help your eyes and your hands to work together. If you can string these beads, maybe you can make a little bracelet or a toy to play with your cat. And then we have some brand new scissors for you to try. These are pretty cool. They don't cut things in a straight line. They cut things in kind of a decorative line. We'll give you another pair of scissors to practice with. You should have all those things at home. And then, of course, when you take everything out of your bag, you could color your little penguin and turn it into a puppet and maybe do a puppet show. Maybe even tell the story of Little Penguin's Tale. That sounds like fun. And I hope you enjoy yourself with that. Penny, what do you think? Looks like good fun to me. Yes, it does. I have a little game here I wanted to show you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to set it on the table. But I took one of the beads out of the, the bag, and using just cups, we made our own little penguins. I didn't put those things in the bag for you, but you could do your own. And then maybe do a kind of a magic show where you try to put a little egg under one of the cups and move them around and see if your friends can guess which cup or which penguin the egg is under. That would be kind of fun to do. Okay, let's do one more little song, and then we'll be done with our story time today, and you can go ahead and come pick up your busy bag. So let's get up and be our penguin self, and we're going to do just like this. Waddle, waddle, waddle from side to side. Penguins go a-walking, slip, slip, slide. With a funny jump, the penguins dash. Down to the water, splish, splish, splash. Waddle from the water with a rock and roll. Penguins go parading on a wintry stroll. And that's something you could practice with your family, too. Well, enjoy your day. Go outside and enjoy the snow. There's going to be more snow coming this week. And that, you might as well go out and enjoy it. Have a good day. Happy Story Hour. <laughs>